Lewis Hamilton has yet to sign a new contract with Mercedes. The Brit was in sensational form in 2020, winning the Drivers F1 Championship for a seventh time to draw a level with the legendary Michael Schumacher. But there's been yet another twist with them when it comes to finalising his contract. F1 owners Liberty Media have decided to half all prize money for the 2021 season, which is not good news for those constructors who will be looking to recoup the money they lost as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. And if teams receive less revenue, it is likely they will look at reducing their expenditures. Liberty Media's change of stance cannot have helped Hamilton's cause, as Mercedes has set for a whopping £37 million loss of earnings. New Daimler-Benz boss Ola Kenanius and the board have concerns of giving Hamilton a lengthy contract and also with them looking to cut costs, Hamilton's salary is also in question. Hamilton wants his £35 million a year salary to remain the same. Hamilton and Wolf have a close working relationship and reacting to the initial lose of Ineos' role and the team principal's commitment to the team for a further three years, the driver hinted at extending his own stay at Mercedes. But it doesn't seem to be as straightforward. If reports are to be believed, Mercedes F1 co-owners Daimler are seriously considering George Russell as a successor to Lewis Hamilton, not just in a few years time, but immediately. Russell stepped in for Hamilton at the Sacker Grand Prix and would have won the race had it not been for a horrific double stack pit stop and a late puncture. The Brit salary could be much less than that of Hamilton. So what are the options for Hamilton if the contract agreed could finish at the end of the 2021 season? The Evening Standard claimed in December that Hamilton held talks with Ferrari. He grew up idolising Schumacher and the prospect of following in the footsteps of his icon could be too good to turn down. Mercedes anyways have their sights set on George Russell for the future, so it's feasible Hamilton could decide to switch teams especially with his current team being unwilling to break the bank to keep hold of him. Although the Scuderia's 2021 lineup is already confirmed, with Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz driving for them, there is still a possibility for 2022, but the change in the regulation could see Ferrari a race ring package again. Claims Hamilton may find his 2021 drive at risk may be exaggerated, but if they are not, Daimler could be wrong to doubt Hamilton. The Brit has left little to prove in the sport of F1, having seen off Nico Rosberg, Sebastian Vettel, and Valtteri Bottas to win the title in the hybrid engine era, only losing out on one title to Rosberg in 2016. That's without bringing into his equation his success with McLaren, his 2008 title win seeing him edge out Ferrari duo Felipe Massa and Kimi Raikkonen. Since 2014 Mercedes have won every drivers and constructors championship, only Ferrari have come close to domination managing five consecutive double titles from 2000 to 2004. Hamilton has been a monumental part of the success having consistently delivered taking his tally of race wins from 21 to 95 since joining Mercedes in 2013. He is one of the few drivers in history of the sport that could justify an outlay as massive as £35 million a year, which is what the Silver Adders are said to pay him per season, or at least did pay him in his last deal. Hamilton is now out of contract however, and while it has been made clear by the driver himself and the team principal Toto Wolff that an extension could be expected, there have been contrasting claims. Reports regarding Daimler's apparent uncertainty to agree to his demands that Hamilton wants £147 million and a four year contract with the team. That works out £35 million a season, so slightly below his current salary, but would see him tied down until the age of 40, given Hamilton turned 36 this week. It's a significant pay packet and commitment, and there are those who believe other drivers may be able to do what Hamilton can do in the W11 or W12 this year, namely George Russell. In other Mercedes news, Williams on Tuesday announced that they have sealed a landmark agreement with Mercedes and the Formula 1 world champions and grid back markers expanding their technical collaboration. But it's a deal that George Russell may not end up seeing the full benefit of. Williams run with Mercedes power units and the two teams have worked closely together since 2014 with the Silver Arrows junior driver Russell driving for Williams since 2018. The relationship was best demonstrated by Williams allowing Russell to return to Mercedes at the Sackett Grand Prix to replace Lewis Hamilton, who was absent with COVID-19 in early December. The 23-year-old produced a brilliant drive and showed F1 and the world that he's a very capable young driver and the right car can win races. But since then, the two teams have been in regular discussions about Williams using Mercedes parts, particularly gearboxes to cut costs under their new owners, with the agreement that Russell loaned out, allowing talks to accelerate. Williams have always prided themselves on being independent, and their team principal Simon Roberts insists that remains the case, even with the expanded agreement. He said, I'm pleased to see our great relationship with Mercedes extend beyond the supply of engines. Williams is an independent team, but Formula One is always evolving, and as a team we must be agile to the current climate in order to put the team in the best position to be competitive on the track. This long-term agreement with Mercedes is a positive step and forms part of our strategic objectives for the future, whilst we still retain our design and manufacturing capabilities in-house. 
Williams were taken over by Dorrington Capital in August and at that time it was stated that making the team competitive once again was a key priority. The 2021 season would be the first time a set of strict financial regulations would be included in the rules and that is believed to have contributed to Williams' more pragmatic approach. Wolf, the CEO and team principal of Mercedes said, We are pleased to expand our technical cooperation with Williams through this new agreement. For Williams it makes sense to acquire the integrated powertrain after running our power units since 2014 and for our team it, make, it makes sense in terms of economies of scale to supply another team under the new rules. This is a project we have been discussing with Williams for some time and I'm glad we have been able to bring this extension to fruition. What do you guys think about the latest developments? I know me seeing Williams get off the back of the grid will definitely be a satisfactory sight. Let me know what you think in the comments.